Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In the last video, we configured Ninja Gas and Ninja Combat. And now in this video, let's create some melee weapons. This video is sponsored by Ninja Bear Studio. Feel free to check them out, support their amazing plugins. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna change everything to Sinti just for personal preference. And I'll be using this Polygon Dungeon Pack. So let's go ahead and change that up. All right, now that everything is Sinti assets, I can continue this tutorial. Let's go ahead and create a melee weapon. So I'm going to go back to my content browser, right click, create a new folder, and I'll just call this weapons and I'll get into my weapons folder and I'm going to right click, go to blueprint class and actually just look for a ninja combat weapon actor like here. And then I'll go ahead and select it and I'll just call this BP underscore sword and I'll double click to open this up. With this open, you're going to notice on the right in the details, there's a few new tags. So we have a weapon tag, melee hit effect class, hit level impact particles, impact sounds, impact shakes, and so on. So I'm just going to select weapon tag and I'm going to set this to something like inventory dot item dot type dot sword. So I'll go ahead and add that and then select it like so. And now I'm going to head over to the components tab, click add and look for a static mesh. And I'll just leave the name as static mesh. And I'm just going to select one of those swords that we got from our Sinti pack. I'll just select this straight sword. And I also need to give the static mesh a component tag. So I'm going to scroll down and down here under tags, you'll see this component tag. So I'll click on this plus sign. And the one we need to type in is going to be combat.component.meleescan source, like so. And if you don't want to type in the component tag under every single weapon, then you can go ahead and just go under interfaces, open up that melee interface, and then double click the get melee mesh like so. And then we're just gonna drag the static mesh and drag it onto the return value like so. And then I can hit compile. And now you won't actually need this. You won't need the component tag over here and I can hit compile and save. And now I'm gonna select my static mesh and go up to my collisions. And for the collisions, I just wanna set everything to overlap all. So I'm just gonna click on this drop down and change it to custom and then just click overlap all like so. And for your collision enabled, you can go ahead and change this to query only with no physics collision. Uh, that's pretty much the minimum setting that you need for this. And now I also wanna create a shield. So I'm gonna go back and right click in my weapons folder and I'll create another blueprint class, which is gonna derive from the ninja combat weapon actor. And then I'll hit select and I'll call this BP shield, double click to open this up. And now I'm just gonna simply repeat my steps. So instead of doing the inventory item type sword, I'm going to do an inventory item type shield. So I'll hit source and add this tag like so. And then I can do the same thing under my interfaces, get my melee mesh, and then I'll add a static mesh. And then I'll drag this onto the return value of this get melee mesh. And then for the static mesh, I also need to assign a shield. So I'll go ahead and just select any shield. This one looks good to me. I'll hit compile and then I'll select my static mesh change my collision to preset overlap all like so and now i need to go back to my player character so over in my player character i'm simply just going to add the combat manager component so i'll head over to components and then add in that ninja combat manager component which we already added in our previous video and then i also want to add a weapon manager so i'll go ahead and add the ninja combat weapon manager like so. And in the class settings, I will hit class settings and then go to implemented interfaces and look for the combat system interface. Now I already have this implemented, but just in case you didn't follow my last video, you will need to add that combat system interface. So now let's open up our interfaces for combat system interfaces and we'll double click on get combat manager component. So for the get combat manager component, we are just going to return the combat manager like so. And then we want to click on get weapon manager component and then we want to return that ninja combat weapon manager and then i want to double click get combat mesh and i just want to return the character mesh and for you if you're not using your sinti retargeter you can probably just return your regular character mesh like so and now we need to open up our character skeleton and add a couple sockets for our sword and shield so i'll look for my hand underscore r like so, and I'm just gonna simply add a socket and I'll call this something like S sword. And then I'll right click and then add a preview asset of a sword. 
and try to align this up properly like so. And this looks good to me. And then I wanna look for my hand left or my left hand. And then I'll right click and add a preview asset. And I'll just add, go ahead and add a shield. And then I'll just right click under my hand L and add a socket. And I'll just call this, I'll change the name to S shield. And then I'll right click and add a preview asset of the shield that we used. And then I'll go ahead and adjust this as so. So I will just pull this in a little, probably shrink this, uh, the shield a little big. And this looks fine to me. So now I'm gonna go back to my BP third person character and I'll select my Ninja Combat Weapon Manager. And I'm gonna go ahead and add two default weapon classes. So one will be the BP Sword and one will be the BP Shield. And then I'm gonna add the two weapon socket mappings accordingly. So for the first one, I'll add that BP Sword and the socket we are gonna set it to is that S Sword that we created. And then I'll go ahead and add one for the BP Shield and add it for the S Shield that we created. So now if I go ahead to my scene and hit play, I should be able to see my character equipping that sword and shield like so. And that's how we set up our melee weapons using Ninja Bear Studio. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.